We're moving to our new house in about a week. I'm starting to feel quite sentimental about this loft. It was such a rush decision to move here back when we signed the papers. We literally signed it while we were sitting at the airport in Montreal, but it's been one of the best rushed decisions I've ever made. I usually like to take my time for big choices. <laughs> it's just brought so much light and life and joy to me. Dan, it's where we brought Sagwa into our family and she got to find all her own little nooks and crannies that she loves to sit in. And then it became the place we brought Marla home. We really started to get a sense of the challenges of sharing one giant room. So even though we have certainly outgrown our ability to stay in this spot, it's been a special time. I want to give a shout out to this video sponsor, someone I've worked with before. It is Copilot. It's a day-by-day -day coaching platform that helps you build fitness and health habits. In case you missed my previous vlog where I shared my Copilot experience, you basically get matched with a personal trainer, you have an onboarding call to talk about all sorts of specific things like what are your own goals, how are you feeling about your own strength and capabilities at the time, what are the existing equipment you have at home, and these are really helpful things for me because Previously, I would just go on YouTube, look up some workout video, but I would never have confidence going into it if it was going to be the correct difficulty level, if it was really pinpointing on helping me towards my goals, um, if they would have equipment that I didn't happen to have at home. But with Copilot, I guess I've been with them for almost half a year. Everything is tailored to me. The workouts are my skill level, my schedule, my goals, my equipment. It's perfect. I am now nine months out from giving birth to Marla. My co-pilot program has revolved a lot around feeling strong enough to keep up with my baby, feeling like I'm recovering in a healthy way physically. And this week, I really feel like I'm reaping all the rewards from being in this program because somehow on top of baby, postpartum recovery, trying to do my YouTube work and trying to move to a new house, I still I am okay and not collapsing at the end of the day. I honestly think I'm like the buffest I've ever been. I wanted as much as possible to avoid feeling like I was just surviving with Marla. I wanna actually like play with her and enjoy her company. I know exhaustion is an inevitable part of being a new parent, but I have been more often than not having a good time instead of just like wanting to lie down. If you guys wanna check it out, click the link in the description. You will get 14 days for free with your own expert fitness and health coach. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. <sighs> Today, full body resistance training, I need bands and dumbbells. Every time you open a workout, they list the supplies up here at the top so you can assemble. We hit submit. There's an opportunity to rate the difficulty level of the workout. Most of the time it's just right, but the few times where it's too easy or too hard, Darian, my personal trainer, sees that feedback and she just adjusts my future workouts accordingly. Darian and I have settled on workouts that are maybe on the shorter end of what I aspired to, but the reality is I'm getting them done and I just think it's better that I'm actually getting things done instead of not reaching some weird lofty goal that I made up for myself. If you love data, there's a report at the end that goes through the muscle groups you worked on, your BPM throughout the workout. You can nerd out over all those details. And since I last mentioned Copilot, they've updated one of their newer features, which is you can also add habits. And today, the other habit that I want to hit is I want to give myself a little self-care. I'm gonna do mini facial. <laughs>
It's a little late night demolition. We've got Marla joining in. We're gonna tackle that back bedroom that is currently a kitchen and is going to become my studio. done yesterday good progress still plenty of work to do Sakwa. I love you this thing where something isn't quite like a permanent fixture in my life until it translates all the way into my dreams and I remember maybe a few months after moving here I dreamed I was home and the home was this home very similar thing happened recently in my dream I had to go <laughs> change Marla's diaper and I was like oh it's it's real now <laughs> this is the home that basically served as our safe refuge through a global pandemic. When we were really uncertain what the threat was, you know, going outside, going grocery shopping, trying to go about our life, coming here was always that moment where um, we can take our mask off, we can let our guard down, we can relax with one another. And ideally that is what home should be for all of us, just like a safe place. And it's also where I went through a lot of personal change, like I became pregnant, saw my body go through insane changes that I could never have even pictured on myself. The day I gave birth, I was induced, so I knew that was the day I like woke up, did my hair and makeup, because I was like, the midwife says we're getting a baby today. And then came back and our home was different again. We had a baby with us too. It's been a very like vulnerable <laughs> journey, personally. All that to say, I'm really glad I'm in a place right now where I'm just, a lot kinder to myself, giving myself time and space to work through things, rest as needed. I'm about to do my co-pilot workout, which has also been great. Not focusing on weight, not focusing on dramatic before and after transformations. One of their values is the best workout is the one that you'll actually do and built into that is just being realistic. Setting goals that make sense, which as simple as that sounds, is actually something I've really struggled with for a long time. Today I've got my full body workout I want to do and I also have splits training since my coach knows that I kind of wanted to work towards doing the splits but also I just find stretching to be something that makes me feel really in touch and grounded. Up first is 30 seconds of standing balance lateral reach. Show me your splits. <laughs> okay, I'm better on this side, Lori. Right? Oh, hey! That's pretty close. Thanks! <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna miss that.
Where's your tongue? Ah! Hello, today's our last day in this apartment. Today I'm gonna get my walking habit in, finish the last bit of packing. Dan's gonna try to come home early from work. He said something so deeply profound the other day. He was like, not to disrespect Marla. Me, bracing for highly controversial next part of the sentence. And then he's like, but moving would be a lot easier without a baby. Off we go. Whew. Today, go for a walk. Woohoo! Yes, Aqua. Never did I think I would be squeezing in these types of healthy habits during such an insanely busy period of my life. I'm just amazed and happy. Arrived early with the steam mop. It's time to do a little prep. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I remember two moves ago in that season, I just lost so much muscle strength due to lack of physical activity. I always thought that I was like a pretty strong person that could lift things, but during that previous move, I just was shocked to find out I was so unhelpful when it came to just furniture, boxes, moving things around. Interestingly enough, that move became a turning point of me trying to take my physical activity and strength more seriously. And I'm really happy to say, though I am completely exhausted, <laughs> that I'm so happy with how mobile and involved I was with this move. And I really do think it's thanks to Copilot making the little daily routine of working out feasible so that I get to enjoy the big picture outcome. Even though I'm so tired already, I feel excited to get to work, get this place in order. And I'm really looking forward to sharing it with you guys because so much of me doing my work well is like having good energy, just being in, being, being, being able to get up and go. Thank you, co-pilot. Today, let's do side body stretch. Up next is 30 seconds of spine rotation stretch. Thanks. Left side. 